Welcome back viewers. Today we'll be focusing on heart projection and the benefits of doing a heart projection. Now a heart projection itself, it tells you way into the future what your heart is expected to do or how best your heart is expected to perform under normal operating conditions. Some of the classifications for the heart projection has to do with your bulls, your replacement bulls will give you a subtotal, and your cows, your replacement cows, there is a subtotal when you add the cows and replacements together, and then you will have deaths and mortality happening amongst cows, and then the bulls and cows will give you calves, the calves too will die, and then they will have, in the process, they will some that are alive will grow into heifers and bulls, some the females will become heifers one to two, and the bulls, bulls one to two, and then we will start the cycle in the preceding areas um, to follow, as you will see shortly. In setting up a heart projection, it is critical to have a basic understanding of every component. For example, in the classification of the bulls, we have replacements. These are then added to our subtotal, from which deaths will occur and culls will occur, and then we'll have our end of project year total. As we come into the category of the cows, we'll have replacements, then we have cows and replacement, and we'll add together, we'll have our subtotal, then mortality and calls will take away from the subtotal, giving us a number. From this, the calves will be born, and then calves will die. After this death occurs, then the animals are separated into males and females, and then we'll have an end of project year total. In the other category with heifers 1 to 2, you will see mortality happening, calls happening, and then we have surpluses in some instances, and then we have end of project year total. In the case of the bulls 1 to 2, what you will see is that bulls would die, some would be called, and then we'll have our end of project year total plus surpluses which will be sold. Now, the number of animals are actually all the number of animals counted as per category inclusive of calves. But the number of animal units is all the numbers counted per category excluding calves. Hence you will see in the opening stock for bulls we would have had three bulls, we would have had a hundred cows, we would have had eighty calves, we would have had thirty heifers, and we would have had 30 bulls 1 to 2, a total of 243. Now, if we to take away this 80 calves, we'll arrive at a number of 163 animal units. The controlling factor at this stage is our technical coefficients which are set. For example, we have a number of factors. We have bringing cow carbon rate, breeding cow mortality rate, breeding cow colon rate, breeding bull to cow ratio, breeding bull mortality rate, breeding bull colon rate, calf mortality, heifers 1 to 2 mortality rates, heifers 1 to 2 colon rates, bulls 1 to 2 mortality rates, and bulls 1 to 2 colon rate in their respective years. You'll see project year 1, project year 2, project year 3, project year 4, and each have their own technical coefficient in the respective years that follow based on the system of management. On this side <coughs> of our table, you will see a number of things happening. Because when you would have taken over the farm, you would have observed that we've had three bulls, we would have had a hundred cows, as you can see, we would have eight calves, we would have had 30 heifers one to two, and 30 bulls one to two giving us a total of 243 animals and 163 animal units. <clears throat> now, what will happen is that the 100 cows that were given here is then transferred into the cows at this juncture and the 30 heifers 1 to 2 that is quite evident here is transferred up with the cows and so we now have a subtotal of 30 plus 100, giving us 130 cows. <clears throat> From which the cows are expected breeding cow mortality rate is set at 7%. And so 7% of 130 animals will account for 9 animals dying. And breeding cow cutting rate 
if you look here you will see it's 10 percent the third row down and so 10 percent of 130 is 13. and then we minus 130 from 9 and from 13 we end up with a total of 108 animals from this we'll have 130 cows giving calves at a rate of 70 percent as seen in year one breeding cow calving rate 70 percent and so 70 percent of 130 would give us 91 calves and the calving rate here calving mortality rate is 10 percent and so we're saying 10 percent of 91 which reflects 9 will die and then according to the mendelian law there's an even distribution between males and females in any population so the <coughs> remaining 82 is split 4 to 1 4 to 1 <coughs> giving us 82 animals but then from the calves that were born when we actually took over the ranch these calves are split 40 as heifers 1 to 2 and 40 as bulls 1 to 2 you can see the split way down this line and then the respective mortality we're saying heifers 1 to 2 the mortality rate is 10 percent in year one and so in year one we're expecting 10 percent of 40 um, <clears throat> this is going to be 4, will die, and then the calling rate of heifers 1 to 2, you see in year 1 it is 10%, and so we are expecting another 4 to die, leaving us with 32 females. <clears throat> As we reach bulls 1 to 2, you see the 40 that was transferred from the 80, 4 will die, and 6 will be called, because it is 10% calling mortality rate, and 15% calling rate, giving us a total of roughly 30 animals but you will see that at the end of project year total there is no animal the reason for this is because that in year two the five bulls that were um, the end of project year total was available is transferred into year two and the one that is the replacement is coming directly from the bulls one to two into the breeding bull herd giving us a total of six and so the one <coughs> leave us at 29 as being surplus. That's what you see here, 29 surplus and one added to the population to give us the rounded 30 that we're looking for. And so <coughs> that's the way we work the entire projection from year to year. But the only difference is in the first instance, the calves are split because it is the law. In the second instance, you'll see that from the 130 animals that would have calved, you would have had this 4 to 1 calf in the first year. And this 4 to 1 meal would have gone to the 4 to 1 meal bulls 1 to 2 here. <clears throat> and then the 4 to 1 females, female calf, they would have grown and they would have been a part of the 4 to 1 heifers 1 to 2 that is transferred here. And then deaths would have occurred and then the 33 would have been transferred up with the 115 in the third year giving us 148 and so the cycle um, would actually continue until you reach the requisite number of years thank you very much for viewing viewers if there are any questions that relate to this heart projection feel free to ask and i do hope that this exercise is indeed helpful to you and i do hope that it can improve your level of rearing of animals to improve profitability and maximize production and productivity.